Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how the charge shotgun works and when to use it, as well as some other tips and tricks. So guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and watch till the end so you'll have a better understanding of how the charge shotgun works. With the new season, Fortnite has given us the new charged shotguns that range from Grey Rarity all the way to Mythic Rarity, which could be found at Meow School's base. These shotguns can be, can be found all around the map. It works pretty much just like the pump, but with a charge and less shells. It also has a charge delay around like 3 seconds. To use the charge shotgun, hold your fire button to charge it. When it's fully charged, you can let go of the trigger and will deal a lot of damage if done right. But you don't always have to charge it. But if you don't, then you have to quickly tap fire in order to make sure it doesn't start to charge. Keep in mind you can't build while charging the shotgun as you're holding your trigger button which is also used for building to charge it. So this can also sometimes leave you pretty exposed when fighting other players. The best times to use the charged shotgun is during court, close quarter fighting, like in buildings. Another tip for using the charged shotgun is to charge it when you hear someone. This means that you'll, when you find your opponent, you'll be able to instantly shoot, dealing a load of damage to the unsuspecting player. You should mostly do it in, in uh, buildings, but it also works just out in the open. But if you aren't close to your enemy or your enemy has an attack shotgun, one of the best ways to kill them is to shoot your charge shotgun at a distance. You'll still do a decent amount of damage, while the attack would only do like 5 damage. This will allow you to get some free, easy shots on your opponent. And after you shoot your charge shotgun, you should also immediately switch to another weapon or immediately start building, as you don't want yourself to be exposed while you're trying to reload or just charge up for another shot. With the new ch charge shotgun, flick shotting and aiming is a little different. Whereas when you try and flick shot, it feels delayed, but it actually isn't. So how it works is it actually shoots once your crosshair stops moving. So you want what you want to do is aim, position your crosshair right on the opponent, right before shooting. And I will explain in this next clip right here. Okay, so now we know that the charge shot. I think the shotgun is just delayed. Yeah, it's definitely delayed. Hold up. It's where you're... I figured it out. So it's basically wherever your, where your gun stops at the end of your flick shot. Some useful ways that you can use the charged shotgun is like through some combos if you have a duo or like a squad what you can do is ha wait for one person to edit the a window for you to while you charge up the charge shotgun then as soon as they edit the window you can shoot through and normally do a crap ton of damage or if you're solo or none, all your friends are dead or something like that what you can do is while someone's breaking into your wall you can wait for them to a bit out to break the wall uh, while you're charging up the charge shotgun and then fire and if you do it right you can probably headshot them and deal a lot of damage with the new addition of things like corn and all those other right consumables again bring back is that you can make use of boats to harvest items like corn I think it only works with corn, I haven't really tested it with anything else, but basically if you see a cornfield nearby, you can just drive a boat on it and it'll instantly break all of them. This only works at Frenzy as that's only where the f corn is, but eating corn will give you an extra boost of 5 HP for por per corn and you can hold up to 15 corn. This allows for easy pickup when you're trying to just harvest a ton of corn or get heals fast. Another cool trick I found was this little hiding spot that allows you to basically just hide on the ground. It's found at Fort Tilla, and it's interesting. So basically, if you just find these three banana trees, one of the banana trees will have like this little dip in the ground, allowing you to fully conceal yourself under the ground. 
bees. <laughs> Secret hiding spot. <laughs> it's just. A wait, wait, it's gone. It's gone. It only works if the tree's there. Overall, I think you should learn how to use the charge shotguns, but I would definitely recommend taking the tack shotgun over the charge shotgun, as the charge shotgun isn't very reliable and doesn't give you the same consistency as the tack. Another downside to the charge shotgun is that you can't build while charging, but this is definitely mostly just based on your playstyle and your skills. And I guys, I hope you guys learned something about the charge shotgun, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video.